welcome to everybody's favorite month late news network, Lake Street News. I'm your host, Saffron. And I'm Mary. Today we have stories about an upcoming concert, a fire station, Cornell, and more. Unfortunately, this episode is kind of late because our teleprompter broke again. But we'll hope you enjoy it just as much as our usual slightly late episode. <laughs> In school news, the IHS Music Department is having its annual themed collage concert on October 30th at 7.30 p.m., featuring both in-school and after-school music groups. The program is filled to the brim with fall and Halloween-themed music based on this year's Chills and Thrills theme, with works including October by Eric Whitaker and Michael Jackson's Thriller. Make sure to go to Culp Auditorium this e Halloween Eve and enjoy your wonderful concert. Bad news for any travelers coming into Ithaca. The Ithaca's Tompkins International Airport's U.S. Custom F Customs Facility is planning to shut down in a couple of months from now. The plan was decided after a 13 to 1 vote by the Tompkins County Legislature and is a response to the extensive financial losses due to both the cost of opening and maintaining the facility. Following up on our story from two weeks ago, Momo Dutal is no longer facing deportation. Tall, an international student and doctoral candidate at Can Cornell University, was suspended a little over a month ago due to his participation in a pro-Palestine protest. Uh, Tull was unsuspended just a week ago, but he and three other students involved in the protest are banned from entering the campus and must complete their degree online. A new property has entered Ithaca's real estate market, a fire station. The number two fire station located in College Town is being put up for sale for the third time in the past 10 years. The station was put up for sale in 2018 and 2021, but did not successfully sell either time. The local realtor, Kyle Steele, said that the site benefits from versatile zoning, presenting a wealth of opportunities for a ver variety of visionary product projects. So if you've got $5 million laying around, then this may be the property for you. But bid fast offers on the fire station end in early December. For now, let's just hope the city's plans to sell this station don't burn up. Thank you for watching Lake Street News. And have a great week. You know, you'd think that it's like they would maybe be a little cheaper if... And I don't think you have to bid that fast if, if it's uh, not been sold the last two times.